Good day, citizens and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis. This is the post-cabinet briefing for Monday, February 4th, 2013. Minister responsible for Health and the Solid Waste Management Corporation, the SWMC, the Honorable Marcella Libel revealed to the Cabinet of Ministers that her ministry is supportive of a proposal it has received to develop a plan to convert solid waste to electrical energy. The Honorable Minister cited a number of reasons why it is critical that maximum support be given to this type of project, including among them the following. One, the waste to energy project will lead to greater sustainability of the landfill site since it will consume a lot of the waste that would normally accumulate at the landfill. Secondly, the project will provide a source of cheaper electrical energy that should in the medium to long term have the effect of reducing the cost of electricity on a sustainable basis. Thirdly, as new hotels are being built as envisaged in the near future, it would be strategically important to use the waste generated from these establishments to produce electrical energy rather than overwhelm the landfill system which can result in health and other related problems. Cabinet confirmed its provisional support for the project and approved the allocation of funds to purchase a baler machine that will be used to compress and package the garbage in preparation for the waste to energy project. Minister of Health, the Honorable Marcella Leibard, sought approval on behalf of the Sunny Point Agricultural Cooperative Society, the SPACS, for the upgrading of the public bathrooms located near the public market in Sunny Point. The minister indicated that her ministry was approached for the assistance and gave consent to seek the approval from the Cabinet of Ministers. SPACS is seeking financial assistance through the Canada Caribbean Disaster Risk Management Fund for the project and hopes to be successful in this regard. The approval granted by the Cabinet at yesterday's meeting will facilitate that success. The Public Works Department and other relevant ministries of the government will provide the required technical support for this project to succeed. In June of last year, subsequent to the official winding up of the Sengit Sugar Manufacturing Corporation, the SSMC, the public pound was closed. During the operating years of the SSMC, the pound was housed under the management of the corporation. Consequently, there was need to reconfigure the operation of the public pound. At Monday's cabinet meeting, government approved the reoperationalization of the pound, considering the importance of the public pound in restraining stray animals that can present a threat to farms and to our citizens' security. A new Public Pounds Act has also been recommended for enactment to provide a more modern regime for the operation of the pound. A recent meeting held with the Marine Division of the Ministry of Agriculture revealed that the Ministry has long had a priority the development of aquaculture as a means of supplementing fish production in St. Kitts. The statistics reveal that about 40% of the fish stocks worldwide are produced through aquaculture and this is projected to increase to over 60% by the year 2020. Considering the potential benefits of aquaculture that is, cultivating fresh water and saltwater fish populations under controlled conditions, government was pleased to provide support to an aquaculture pilot project and environmental research project that is researching the acclimatization of freshwater species of fish to the marine environment. The following mechanisms of support have been so far granted. One, concession on materials and equipment for the aquaculture venture. Two, recognition of the project as having the capacity to provide technical assistance and training in the area of aquaculture. Three, the allocation of areas for the development and operation of demonstration fish ponds for the promotion of aquaculture on a national scale. Four, endorsement of the project to facilitate access to funding through international funding agencies. The Ministry of Agriculture is firmly of the view that the support provided to aquaculture through these means will redound to the long-term benefit of the agricultural sector and to the economic empowerment of our local population. In support of small locally owned businesses and to assist in wealth creation and empowerment among our citizens, support by way of tax concessions has been provided for a number of small businesses in the area of tourism and cleaning services. The decision of the cabinet has made it possible for new businesses to emerge and for small established enterprises to increase their investment to meet the growing demands in the services sector. Prime Minister the Right Honourable Dr Denzel Douglas commended the small business persons 
for the entrepreneurial spirit and pledged to provide all the requisite support possible within the framework of legislation designed to support small enterprises. The Prime Minister also expressed great hope in seeing a number of small businesses emerge as a result of the small enterprise component of the recently launched PEP or People Empowerment Project. This brings to an end the post-cabinet briefing for cabinet meeting held Monday, February 4th, 2013.